What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from Ami Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 10. Today, I'm going to be talking about bus, send, bus sends and auxiliary tracks in Logic. I've been getting a lot of questions with regards to this topic, so I will be covering this topic in a three-part tutorial, this being the first. Next Thursday will be the second, and the Thursday after that will be the third. The reason why I'm breaking it down to three parts is so I can sort of get some feedback, get some more questions, and I will answer them in the upcoming videos. Plus, I'm going to going to kind of go more in depth into this topic every week as the weeks progress. So now with that said, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Hear how this little drum loop that I have right here sounds just before, hear how it sounds just before we start editing things. So let's go ahead and hit play. All right, so there's my drum loop right there. And let's say I want to add a, a reverb to the clap right here. So I'll, I'll go ahead, hit clap, and I'll go to my insert section and put in a reverb. Now, a lot of people do it this way, but it's not the best way to go about it. Basically, if you want to add a reverb to your clap, and then you want to use the same reverb on your kick and the same one on your hi-hat, you're kind of bogging down your computer for no reason. This is what auxiliary uh, tracks are meant for, what sends are meant for, is that you send multiple tracks to one track, one effect plugin track, and then it everything gets used under that one plugin. It's very cost effective, very good on your CPU, and it makes your session a lot cleaner. So let's go ahead and do that instead of adding reverbs on every track. So again, I wanna add some reverb on my clap, so I'm gonna go ahead at my sends, click the sends, and I'm gonna pick a bus. Let's just say for this tutorial sake, bus one is my reverb, and it sends it out that way. And right beside the reverb, or sorry, right beside the bus, you'll see this little circle right here. This circle means how much volume of that clap is being sent out to my auxiliary track and the beautiful thing about logic is when you create a bus end by going to bus one it automatically puts the auxiliary track right beside it so you can easily manipulate it and work with it i love that feature it's really great it does save you a lot of time as opposed to other daws that don't really do that so let's go ahead and click play i'm just going to solo my clap and solo my auxiliary track so we can hear it As you can see, there's no volume going into my auxiliary track right here because my send is at zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some volume send so I can get some of that signal into my auxiliary track. And now you see some, uh, so now you see some signal going into it. Perfect, so now that we know that this is the volume send, we know that we're kind of sending it at a good volume. Let's just say that is the volume I want to send it at. And I can see the auxiliary track is receiving the sound. So I know my signal chain is good so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in a reverb here. So let's put in a uh, kind of like the space designer reverb. And I'm going to put in a uh, plate, plate reverb. And let's put in a uh, this one. Sure, why not? And the thing that you always got to do on your auxiliary track, because it is another track, you set your your reverb level to max. So your dry is to zero because you don't want any dry signal. This is just the effect plugin 100%. You don't want any dry in it. You want it 100% so you can mix it in properly into your track. So that is my reverb right there. Obviously, I'm going to lower this or else it's going to sound very reverby. So I'm just going to lower that. Let's just say that is the level I wanted at. Kind of got a nice mix over there. And that's it. That is a, you basically set up a send or auxiliary track. This is called an auxiliary track with a reverb. And now your clap is going into that auxiliary track and you can manipulate very easily with the volume slider right there. And then you can affect the plugin right here. Now, now this is, this is the beauty of an auxiliary track. Let's just say you wanted to use this same reverb on your, hi-hat track so what would you do is normally people would just go to inserts and kind of bring it in and then copy all the settings now again not a good way to go about it what you would do is go to your track go to sends go to bus one the same bus again it brings it right next to you so you can easily manipulate it edit it change it and then bring in some volume so you get some send going on into the track and now you're using that same plugin to drive two effects. Sorry, that same plugin to drive two tracks that is coming into it.
And let's just say you want to add your percussion to it. Again, you'll click solo. Well, I'm just clicking solo so we can hear that track itself. Go to sends, go to bus one. And again, you're using that same reverb plugin as you did before. I'm just gonna send some send out here. And again, let's go ahead and hit play. So now you have your clap, your hi-hat, and your percussion sent to the auxiliary track one, which I should rename it right now. Let's call that a plate reverb. So we're all sending that to the plate reverb, and we're only using one plugin instead of using three, because we want to use the same plugin. When you're mixing drums, when you're mixing any instrument, you want to create a sense of one. Every instrument should be, even though it's multiple tracks, you want it to sound like it's one instrument and a drum is one instrument. So you should apply the same effects to it as a whole, as if it's just one instrument being played. That's what we're doing right here. So we just create one auxiliary track with one reverb on it. And we kind of sent multiple different parts of the instrument to that track to make it sound like it's one. Let's go ahead and add one more. Again, as usual, we'll solo the track just so we can hear it. Go to our send section, go to bus one. And here it tells you what it is, plate reverb. Again, send out how much you want to send out. And let's just say that is what I want. Go ahead and hit play. And now let's just say your clap is uh, sending too much, it's too high. It's too much volume going into that track. So what you do is just go back here, lower the volume a little bit, the send. And then it'll lower the volume in and it'll lower the volume in the reverb section. Now that is it for the part one tutorial of Sends in Logic. Again, check back next week for part two as I will go more in depth into this topic. I'm Adam from iMusic Mogul. Remember to subscribe, comment, rate, and as usual, talk to you next week. Later, guys. Actually, talk to you soon. Later.